Wow, as soon as it hits the water, fish is all over it. Number four. Welcome to Chasing Moby Dick. This is an itty bitty ditch in my hometown. And we're gonna see what kind of fish live in it and try and catch as many as we can. But first, we've gotta chum this hole with some range cubes to really get the activity going. They break down in the water. They're made with like seeds and protein, molasses, and they break down and make a great chum that all kinds of fish like. Before we get going on our target species, we gotta go ahead and catch us some cut bait. It's a Berkeley Gulp Minnow, one inch on a 164th ounce jig head. I'm not gonna lie, I was out here recently and Oh, I had one all over it. Yeah, I was out here recently though and I was actually catching catfish, quite a number of them, on the jig. There we go. Little sunfish. Pretty little fish. This is bait to catch better bait with. We're gonna use a little piece of cut bluegill on a little jig head up about 10, 12 inches to a little float. Based on a recent observation, I was out here just the other day, these bullheads were hitting it on the fall, and to me, that's just crazy. I was throwing out cut bait and not even setting the rod down. So we got that cork out there, right where we threw all those range cubes. I think it'll get hammered. Fish on. What is that? It's, uh... Wow, okay. Kind of foul hook this little bluegill, but uh, we'll keep him as a cut bait as well. Yep, there it is. There we go. First bullhead of the day. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about right there. That's a good one. Not right there, guys. It's a pristine big catfish bait. I'm hoping to see what kind of size live in here. I found the spot only recently. It's like literally right at two miles from my house and uh, really not that difficult of a spot to fish so oh wow something hit it already so I'm trying to see what all lives in here there we go two bullheads two cast yeah he basically hit it on the fall these little bullheads guys are mean so I'm gonna quit playing with fire here and put them in the bucket. Just an itty bitty piece of bait. Be cool if it hit it right away. Odds are you'll they'll come in waves and oh already on it. Wow. That's a third one right there. In three casts. This is crazy. The third bullhead in three cast. Not the biggest, but Bullheads are great and hardy fish, and I can keep them for a lot longer than I can keep bluegill. Wow, as soon as it hits the water, fish is all over it. Number four, that's what I'm talking about right there. Fantastic. Not my best cast, but it got hit. One thing I've never liked about bobber fishing is I always feel like the hookup rate is diminished. There's that same fish right back for it. Just a pitiful, pitiful hookup rate today. We'll see if that same fish wants it. Yeah, as soon as it hits the water. Got him this time. Funky. It's another pretty decent one right there. All right. That's so cool, man. Number five. Cool. There's the cast I was looking for, and a fish is on it instantaneously. I want him to take it under, though. He had it almost under, but I need him to really take it. Ooh, it's hot, everybody. And we got a bite. Come on, take it under. Take it under, buddy. Come on. He's just swimming all around with it. It's all over it. Come on. 
There we go. We're hooked up now. Wow. Bigger than I thought. What a fatty. <laughs> Just little golf ball bellies on these guys. That's a fat, fat little fella. Number six. I'm trying to think of my all-time greatest day catching bullheads. You guys don't know this, but I actually started out catching bullheads. I didn't even know that there was different types of catfish. We got a bite already. And uh, there's this lake that I used to go to, and I haven't been there on this channel. I mean to go soon. It's got really big bullheads, you know, one to two and a half pounders pretty frequently. This is just getting hammered out there. Anyways, I think maybe one night we caught 10 between our group, but there we go. Number seven. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to break that today. Hey, fella. Oh, yeah, it's on. Oh, all over it. Take it under. Okay. There we go. Number eight. Strong. Nice. I mean, just a few seconds after it hits the water. Number eight, man. Awesome. Yeah, guys, there was a time when I started fishing about 17, 18 years old. Um, I, I just thought catfish was catfish, you know. I didn't know there was flatheads, blues, channels. I didn't grow up doing this. And, and uh, fishing for bullheads off this old country bridge with rods like this, just suspended off the bridge after dark. That's how me and my friends really got hooked on fishing. And then somebody showed me how to use punch bait in a creek catch channel cats and I, I was just smitten after that so yeah the rest is history fished hard fished long used to always get skunked not as much anymore I still do get skunked especially this time of year but not as much why I'm waiting on this one I'm gonna go ahead and throw range cubes as far as I can downstream just one or two to get them coming this way. All right, here we go. A couple more in our area. That ought to be just good right there. The sun is getting to my brain. Like I said, it's 100 degrees. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to withstand it for three hours I have available. Which is not bad, you know. I could go home early for once. Rarely do I go home early from fishing. There we go. All over it. All over it. Take it, buddy. There you go. Hooked up. Perfect. Perfect. Little bullhead. Yeah, it's just ridiculously hot. My camera's actually overheating. This one right here. So I'm taking a quick shade break for my camera and myself because uh, it's really hot. But we've caught 10 so far and it's so much fun. And I cannot believe that this spot is two miles from my house. I have so many times where I'm driving, you know, a long ways even just to get bait. A lot of times I can get bluegill and stuff in town. But if I want to get bullhead, traditionally, I'm having to drive pretty far, you know, 30 minutes to do that, you know. But this is five minutes from my house depending on the traffic so fantastic fish is riding got it all over it we had it way under the water got it out there's no way I was over there messing with my jig Number 11. Awesome. These little spikes right here, when they they uh, they really hurt whenever these fish kick on you. Got to hold them tight. We just got a tiny little piece of bluegill, and we're gonna cast this really far out. I just had um, one right before I got this camera. I cast it way out there, and he got hit as soon as it hit the water, which means that there's bullheads all in this stretch yep there we go missed that one the stretch is only 50 yards long before they're kind of blocked off from the next stretch of creek so Whew. there we go uh -huh. 
good. Well, it felt good from out there. How about it? So why wouldn't you? It's kind of more fun to reel them in from way out there. Man, as soon as it hits all over it. There we go. We are putting them in the bucket today. He's trying to get that bait in his mouth. There he goes. He's got it. Wow. As soon as it hits the water. Back there in the shade. That one took it with authority, but I don't think I got it. No, I did. Oh, that's because it's a sunfish. <laughs> On the cut bait. We'll throw him back. Too small. Aggressive. There we go. Fish on. Feels like a decent little bullhead. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I casted my bobber into the trees up there, so. I'm going to go ahead and use my ultralight. Wow, already on. Hooked up. That was immediate. Cool. New bait. Got fish on. We'll say 17. How about that? Yep, there we go. He's all over it. He's got it. There we go. Number 18. Wow, this feels big, but I'm on an ultralight. So wow. 18. How about it? Oh, man, immediately. Nice little bait. It's got it. 20. And there's that fish. Number 20. Oh, there it is. Fish on. 21. Crazy fighting fish, man. They just freak out. Nice. It's 21. I'm wearing down. I've been out here for about two hours. I've caught 22 bullhead, which is pretty good. Um, I wanted to catch as many as I could, but I think I'm going to call it quits at 25 just because the brutality of the summer sun in the state of Oklahoma. I mean, it'll it'll get you. And I left my water in the car because I was packing really light, so I gotta go back and hydrate. Well, let's catch a few more. Here we go. He's got it, taking off with it. Just need him to dunk it. There we go. Fish on. That's number 22. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. 23, here we go. Something's already on it. We're about to go ahead and set that hook. Swimming around in circles. Hooked up. Nice. Two more. That'll be a fish on, number 24. See that little chubby guy? Twenty-five. Spectacular. Man, little golf ball belly again. Look at this. And the very last fish of the day, spine the ever-living crap out of my finger. That hurts more than you know. I heard rubbing it on its belly will help it feel better. I do know that it's not clean. Well, wow, that instantly took away the sting. <laughs> I thought it was an old wives tale. You get spiked by one of these guys, you rub your finger on its belly. And it gave it some relief right away. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hopefully some big fish soon.